Hello and welcome to the Blues Academy Online. Uh, this week we're taking a quick look at the track Honky Tonk Part 1 and 2 uh, by Bill Doggett and his band. Now uh, you might notice my upside down laptop in the background, uh, that's what I usually edit these videos on. Um, uh, <laughs> while that's drying out, I'm just on the mobile phone here, so there's going to be a fairly stripped back and short video. Um, I've managed to, uh, through the power of uh, technology, send some MIDI information to um, our, our uh, sound engineer Veed, so he should be able to use that to create the rest of the PDFs and the, um, and the audio file for you. So fingers crossed that's going to work, uh, but let's get on to how we actually play this tune. Now it's an interesting kind of walking bass line idea. Um, using notes kind of from the scale, I guess, walking up and down, and um, and then we also have a, a version of it where we mostly just sit on the root note. Now, there's a lot more movement going on in the original uh, and on the transcription in that computer. Uh, however, um, I've had to simplify things a little bit for this final version, so um, I'm just going to run through it with the backing track and then I'll give you a quick explanation of what I've played there. So, what you're about to hear is the last two bars of the first 12, okay? Now, the first 12 on the original recording seems to feature just guitar and drums, and the bass kicks in on the second time through. So we're about to come in on that, we're gonna walk through the bass line twice, and then we're gonna play this uh, mostly root note version um, and I'm unable to display the um, the transcription I've I've done here, so I'll just have to try and uh, nail this from memory. Okay, so here we go. At that point we basically run through the entire song like that again. So we'll do the, the walking line again and then we'll do this uh, kind of mostly root note idea. Um, I don't think I played exactly what was on the recording there but you, you do have the transcription to keep you right. I think there's possibly, um, I think actually that first line of the, the root note bit goes like this. Um, Okay, so, and those uh, last two bars of um, our one chord F on that first line, we actually briefly go back to this walking idea before we continue with the, this kind of root note idea. Okay, I also put in a, a little, um, a little bit of movement on that B flat chord where I'm going, So I'm just moving from my B flat there, down to G, down to F, okay? And this is a sort of idea, you, you can embellish this as much as you like really, um, just take a kind of inspiration from these, these parts. Again, what, what you're seeing here is a kind of uh, a simplified version of the original, a kind of standardized version that gives you kind of two ways to, 
to, to play it, but you can you can uh, you know apply any of the other walking ideas that you you've learned in, in different tunes up to this point. So, um, the only other detail to watch out for is that this uh, final twelve bar um, section, which is back to this kind of root note idea again, um, has a couple of details that have changed. So I'm going to try and jump in for this last uh, 12, which should be somewhere around here. Um, basically, in at the fourth bar of the, the first line, um, we're going to move to a triplet idea on our F, okay? So I'll just play that first line. So it's going to be like... Um, And we continue on and the, the, the other change is that the last two bars when we get back to our one chord again the very last two bars of the progression we're going to walk up uh, a slightly different way to our, our five chord before we resolve back to the back to our root note so um, we're going to walk up F up to A up to B flat up to B and then up to C C F Pretty classic ending there, um, we've definitely played versions of that on other tunes before, so again you should be able to pick this up pretty easily. So I'll stick this uh, last uh, 12 on and just try and play through that for you, okay? So. Okay, so as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. Hopefully between this uh, quick video I've made and the transcription, you should be able to pick up all of those details. Uh, I do apologize for the technical glitches this week. Um, if anybody does need any further uh, information about this track, any updates on uh, details of how to play it, or indeed any further explanations of the PDF, do please leave a comment on the YouTube channel below here uh, and or on the Facebook page, okay? Uh, and of course, if anybody else is watching or you've not subscribed yourself, do so uh, down here or here, uh, whichever way my camera flips us around when it uploads. Okay, uh, I look forward to seeing you all for our online seminar tomorrow night, uh, albeit on, um, I think for me, I'll be looking at about 50 of you on a screen this size, so uh, hopefully I'm able to figure out how to put my bass through this phone uh, for tomorrow, <laughs> which should be a fun, a fun little challenge for me. So uh, you can see, hopefully I've still got a smile on my face then. <laughs> okay, good luck and have fun.